and welcome to my new trip report. Today I will take a long train ride from Bude to Sjördal in Norway on the Nordland Line. Bude station is small and has just around 2 to 4 departures every day. The Nordland Line is the longest railway line in Norway with a length of about 728 kilometers, that is about 452 miles. Let's get to the front of the train where my car is located. I always wanted to do this right and I got the ticket for my birthday. And of course, I booked the premium class. The coach looks spacious, modern and clean. The train starts in Bude and will stop in many small towns before it crosses the Arctic Circle. Bigger towns on the route are Mu Irana, Mu Schön, Levanger and Steinscher. If I had continued my ride all the way to Trondheim, I even would have stopped in Hell, which has both a hotel and a mall. Not too bad for Hell. Adebra Bude. Did I mention that this ride is about 9.5 hours long? I stayed two days in Bude before my tour. A nice little city, but you should have a car to get to places outside. I will come with a little bit of information about the Nordland line throughout the video. The first section between Trondheim and Hell was opened in 1882 and the last stop Bude was finished in 1962. From Bude we are now heading east toward Fauske. We will then head towards Finnite where the line will cross steep terrain and hug the mountainside with a lot of tunnels. But let's take a look at the train. In premium class, there are warm drinks included in the price. When you book earlier, the price is about 380 kroner, that's about 45 US dollars in economy class, and 472 kroner, that's about 56 US dollars in premium class. The line is operated by SJ Nord, the Norwegian branch of the Swedish train company. The train has a family coach with a playroom that was closed due to pandemic restrictions. There's a cafe with possibilities to sit and buy food, snacks and drinks. The menu has the normal Norwegian prices. The highest elevation of the line is about 680 meters, that is 2230 feet above sea level and this is close to the Arctic Circle. Let's get back to my seat without buying any stuff in the cafe.
trip we bought without the bathroom review. All the train is wheelchair accessible and Norwegians are all about universal design. So this toilet is spacious, clean, accessible, all you need if you are in need. They even have a nice wall design. But now let's get a hot chocolate. All seats in premium class have a foldable table with enough room to set up your own entertainment system, work or eat. You can get the menu digitally by QR code and I got some chocolate and small bottle of still water for free. There's free Wi-Fi on all trains in Norway. I used my own phone because it is faster and the service is great in most parts of Norway. I forgot to mention that the seats have an OK recline and you have a power outlet for your electronics.
let me sum up my experience. The train is very nice, clean, not too expensive for the distance and time you travel and what is offered on board is totally okay. The premium product with more legroom and all the extras I got was totally worth the small amount I paid more. Would I do it again? Maybe not. The Norwegian landscape is beautiful, but 9 or more hours on watching out of the window will get boring, at least for me. And the alternative, if you need to travel between Trondheim and Bude, is a direct flight of an hour that you can get for nearly the same price. So in my opinion, this is part of a holiday, where you choose to use the time. But I have to admit, this is very relaxing. But now it is time to leave. Thanks for joining me on my train ride today. I hope you enjoyed this report. If you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a good time to do so. And you're welcome to leave a like and comments. Thanks for watching. See you on my next trip report. Until then, live with no excuses and travel with no regrets. See you all.